Yeah, I just knew I had to get out of there. Had to get out of there. But on his side, on his side of the bed, he had swords and knives. Um, Kel had a knife collection before he and I got married. And um, I had asked him to get rid of the knife collection because we now had children. And so, um, I was very insane. Very insane. Yeah, I think a lot of men when they are abuse women or a lot of men when they don't like women either want to be a woman or they're jealous. I don't know what kind of witchcraft he was doing, but um, he was sitting in my living room in a pentagram and had some truth. I don't know what he told me he didn't do witchcraft. He told me he didn't visit a psychic. All that stuff was lies, 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 lies. Um... Oh yeah, I feel like there's always a spiritual battle. I think he was. I think he was. I think he was jealous that um I don't know, I just think he wants to just destroy my light or take away my light. Yeah, he had all these swords and craziness, like but behind the bed? I don't think I'm I mean, you know what? A lot of people ask me, like, did Hollywood ruin him? I don't know, because according to his mom, he was a crazy kid. He was a messed up child. I don't know if Hollywood ruined him. I just think um, Hollywood might have just, I don't know, added to his weirdness. Maybe. I could have said this back then, but my kids were younger and I, I was just raising them. I wanted to make sure that my kids were okay with it, that they were old enough to understand what was happening. And so that's what I did. That's what I did. He was evil. His mom, he used to have these crazy pictures in his closets with his parents' eyes out and he would like he hated his mom and he would have all this crazy like Kel had some of the darkest weirdest stuff in his closet like oh terrible horrible horrible um I don't know we might have been turned out before Hollywood I don't know I don't know I don't know if they were sleeping together. I have no idea. Was I afraid of him? I, yeah, I was afraid of him at one point. Mm -hmm. I do not hate him. No, I absolutely love him. I love him in a way because he's my kid's dad, father, but uh, not like in, in sort of intimate way. Kenan didn't avoid him after all that. Kel was the one that wanted to leave all that. Kel was the one that wanted to leave Kenan and Kel. No, he's not really in the kid's life. Um, thank you. Thank you. I am definitely going to stay protected. And um, we were together for 10 years and we're still getting divorced, unfortunately. Well, from what I understand, the times that I've ever caught Kel cheating, he cheated on me with a woman. But I've had questions about whether or not he had cheated on me with a man. I have no idea. Um, I never saw it, but I suspected it that he possibly was. The, the whole entire thing with him bringing home the dildo, that's what made me suspect it. It wasn't Nick on the bed with the cheerleading, even though that's definitely suspicious. But, uh... No, the divorce is not fine. And we're still going through the, through the divorce as of right now because he refuses to pay me all the money that he owes me. And this is why I'm here now. And this is why I'm talking about it because I'm tired of it. You're not going to go around... You're not going to go around, you know, and act like you're a preacher and all this stuff and like you're this great guy and then not owe me anything like not do anything that you're supposed to do you're not going to be able to do both like either you know and i'm just tired of it too because i waited for him to make good or do something and it's like you're not doing anything but the same shit that you continuously do and so obviously you're going to keep doing this until i do something else which is 
narcissists hate when you actually tell the truth narcissists hate truth tellers narcissists don't want you to talk narcissists want you to be quiet and move on with your life so anytime you see comments like that from people know that they're narcissists know that they are the bullies because who cares what anybody says like who cares I didn't, well, I didn't walk in on him when he was cheering. I walked in. He was standing on the bed. Kel was on the bed. And um, Nick then did a cheer to kind of break the ice. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Please. Give me my money. I can shut up about this and talk about other stuff. I don't have to tell everybody your business, Kel. Give me the money. Ready? Like, I don't know. I mean, I, I've got this that wasn't to me even a story i was not trying to put anybody out there to me that wasn't even that was nothing everybody i got i don't know i guess people can read things into whatever they want to i had my own money but i've had to spend it because of his so i need my money back from him that i've already spent all right absolutely it's absolutely about money absolutely 100 percent true okay definitely about the money because I have spent way too much money, way too much time on this, and I need my money back. I've already taken him to court, buddy. He owes me over $3 million. So, you know, courts can't do anything. Courts don't do sh besides make you spend money. So, there's no, there's no claims. It's reality. No claims. Nick was on the bed in the cheerleading outfit. Nick still has my cheerleading outfit. Um, <laughs> Nick still hasn't even given it back. Anyway. Uh, how did you react when I saw um, <laughs> how did you react when I saw Nick and Kel oh my gosh I was just in shock I was like we all kind of looked, e looked at each other like they're looking at me I'm looking at them like we you don't really know what somebody is right nobody knows what, what people are if they're gay if they're straight but I don't know well, he makes sixty. He makes over six hundred thousand dollars a year, so I am sure he can pay me my money. And Kel makes sixty thousand dollars a month, so you know if that's a little bit of money to people, then hmm. Oh, I definitely will be. I definitely will be. Yeah, I, I walked in and uh, everybody was quiet. Everybody was quiet. Um, well, this one was about, oh man, well, he, uh, Kel also writes raps and, um, <laughs> Kel does a lot of stuff. Um, Kel's a pastor right now. Kel makes a lot of money. Kel makes a lot of money. Makes so much money. Um, uh, mm. I did, well, Kel thought I was going to be gone and Kel thought I was going to never come back. And um, so Kel was not expecting me when I came. He can definitely pay in installments. But instead of paying me in installments, he wants to pay palm colored people attorneys to try to not pay me, even though he's going to have to pay me. You got to watch out for the pastors. You got to watch out for the pastors. You got to watch out for the preachers. You got to watch out for the teachers. You got to watch out for the policemen, the firemen, po politicians. You got to watch out for any, I think, I'm going to, you know, this is a good guy narcissist, okay? Good guy narcissists are the worst. They're the ones that you. They are the ones that will kill the entire family and everybody will be like, oh, I can't believe the whole family. And then they won't find out. They won't even find out that the family is underneath the stairs until like 40 years later like 40 years later so yeah you gotta watch out for these people you really do honestly it's like nobody tells you to look out for the good guy i had no idea i had no idea to watch out for the gu the perfect guy now i do so that's gonna be um my other book as well what did they say they were doing when you walked in well, um, so when Nick left, Kel said that Nick was cheering him up by doing cheers. They said, he said Nick was cheering him up doing cheers. <laughs> hey, yeah, well, that's what he had written in his journals that he was <laughs> off. <laughs> Very good. 
cheer, cheer, <laughs> cheering him up because I don't know. I still don't know. I mean, he did. I, I thought at the time that he was cheering him up because I was. I he told everybody that he was gonna. He was gonna. You know. Um, he was crying and he was telling everybody that he was crying and uh, you know these narcissists. I got these narcissists cry at the drop of a dime. Narcissists don't think that they do anything wrong. And in his, this is what Kel told me. Kel said that he cheated on me because I was a virgin. He cheated on me because I would not have with him before I was married. So that was his reason for cheating on me. He cheated on me because I wasn't having sex with him. Even though he told me he was going to stop doing that. But, you know, so it, it's crazy. <laughs> I do. I do think he was, honestly. I do. Kel's a Virgo. Kel's a Virgo. No, he has never said sorry. And Kel continues to lie about everything. I never cheated on Kel. I did. I married him after he cheated because I wasn't having sex with him because I was a virgin. So, yeah, he's a Virgo. I have a toxic side too. I'm sure I have a toxic side, but my toxic is not, you know, like other people's toxic, I'm sure. I talk a lot. I guess that's toxic. Yeah, my whole cheer up. I'm pissed. I'm very pissed. Bad damn Virgos? Absolutely. No, no. You guys are. You guys are. No, I'm sorry. You know, I think women Virgos are different from male Virgos. So, I should have cheated on him. You know, my mom always told me that, you know, you do what you want to do. Uh, <laughs> my mom always, you know, hey, I took my vows seriously. And I took my vows seriously. So, um... No, I don't want him to change who I am. But I'm definitely after my money now. I'm definitely after my money now. Um, so for those of you, I'm going to read it. And then you guys tell me. Nick Cannon said yes. He said yep. And then he said probably had a big ear of corn, a bunch of orange soda, and a couple of kids choice awards. A to me you know if um well i don't know if he's closeted maybe that was a maybe that was an out you know it <laughs> thank you thank you thank you jen thank you <laughs> right people do it all the time though people do it all the time did i cheat i never cheated on kel Mm -mm. <laughs> Sounds like that's what I'm. I I I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I don't even know. I just wouldn't even joke like that. I wouldn't even joke like that. But hey, hey. Um, why is this coming? Well, I had to wait for my kids to get older, so uh, that's why. <laughs> that's funny no his parents and well his parents they barely have a relationship with the kids i'm a gemini why did i marry him because i think men cheat but i wasn't having with him so um and i believe that he was gonna change that's why as long as i believe you <laughs> the kids do understand what's going on uh, funny how everybody asks you why is this happening now do they want it to never happen should you all right yeah i mean so many people ask me like what you know everybody has their own time everybody has their own time um and they have their own reason as to you know whatever reasoning but my reason is to because honestly kel had made a diss song kel made multiple videos about me back in the day and i never responded because i'm raising kids and i'm just you know doing all this stuff that i need to do as a mom <clears throat> plus my kids were younger so i just thought it was rude it's completely rude now i you know get i find out for my kids if they're okay with it and they are 
I hope he had on. No, he did not have his own clothes. You know, I probably would not have been so mad if he did not have like nothing on under my uniform. Like the fact that my uniform was touching his skin for somebody that has OCD is a huge problem. Huge problem. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm working on. I'm working on a lifetime series because I kid you not. The craziest stuff that happened in my life is absolutely insane and it's hilarious and insane at the same time i think i'm just gonna go into stand up because i kid you not the craziest stuff i've been just yeah it it's insane insanity <laughs> insanity the crazy things that i have experienced are like <laughs> insane we were married for 10 years but we're still going through a divorce <laughs> Kel just became a pastor now. I think it was maybe last year. Yeah, yeah about, I think about a year ago. I want my uniform back and my money from Kel. I was on the sh I was on Keenan and Kel before and I was on all that before. I do not have a relationship with Kel. Um, no, ever since Kel got married, I've only talked to him on speakerphone. I've invited Kel to some things, um, like my daughter's graduation and other stuff. So, um, yeah. I put up with this for 10 years. Well, I, I put up with this for 20 years now because, you know, this is the first time that I'm, I'm talking out about all this, I guess, recently, within last year. And um, he's still doing the same. So that's why I'm talking about it now. Like, I don't care. I don't care. I'm fired my attorney. I'm just going to go on social media. And narcs hate this the most. Narcs hate this. Narcs hate it. Narcs hate it when you out them. So I'm going to out them. And hopefully that will get Kel, you know, back on track and just start paying. Kel is married. He definitely, he's not going to get away with it at all. Never. Um, what is your reasoning? Because Kel's still in and he continues to uh, take me to court and not pay. Um, oh, he's on a TV show. Keenan and Kel, all that. Um, right? Right? I met Kel on Good Burger. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hey, I'm trying to get my look back from Kel right now. Set it up. I, I have not, I've never heard from Nick. I've never heard from Nick. No, I've never heard from him. I haven't heard from any. I haven't heard from Keenan. Keenan is my son's godfather. Keenan is my son's godfather. Keenan never reached out to any of us. Um, Keenan never reached out. Nick never reached out. Like, all these people, I just can't. I'm just, you know, you. a lot of times you can't trust people. You can't trust people, but, you know, I just, like, I open my house to them, my families to these people, and, you know, just... People that are in the industry are just, sometimes they're just fake and they're just faking crazy. If Keenan knew what, I'm confused. Yes, he does. But you know, I feel like all men act slow, right? Like, is that part of your superpower? Thank you. Like, is that? men's superpower to like act dumb like why do you guys be acting so dumb you guys be acting so dumb and that's like part of your game i think i don't i never had a relationship with mariah at all <laughs> yes you guys do you guys men act dumb you guys do that's like part of your whole entire thing it's part of your whole entire thing no it's an act it is an act it is an act i'm telling you because i had no idea kill knew what, what a pentagram was Kel stole my kids. Like, I thought he was the dumbest person on the planet. Literally. I thought he was just so dumb. And he would make me do all these crazy things. Like, this man couldn't even spell my own name. Like, he couldn't even spell my freaking name. And I was his wife for 10 years. So, um, I thought he had, like, I, I really didn't even know Kel knew what a pentagram was. I didn't know that he even knew how to drive, to draw one. And I think that is, um, that's part of the whole thing. Hey, you can't label all men as slow as everyone. That's very true. But let me, let me kind of, okay. So my son, when my son was like two or two years old, my son was like, hey, mom, I want to show you something. And he was peeing on a tree. 
And uh, my daughter at two years old was writing her full name and she's got five names. So I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know what's in that Y chromosome, but something different maybe possibly. I'm just playing. These are jokes, it's <laughs> completely jokes. But I do think that for the most part, <laughs> smart. I do think for the most part that um, men, part of their whole entire experience on life, you know, is to pretend like they're dumb and that's how they don't do anything. And that's how you do everything for them is when they act dumb, you know, so right. That's right. So I don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Live, love, fight. I love that. <laughs> it's true. It's true. For all those moms out there, I kid you. If, if, okay. Anybody else on here that's a mom and, and you have a daughter and you have a son? Are you, I mean, did you not realize like there's like big differences in like boys and girls? Like, exactly. You guys act dumb. I see you guys do it on purpose. I see you guys do it on purpose right exactly please don't yeah thank you thank you thank you i don't know how to wash the dishes i don't know how to cook i don't know how to make the bed you guys would be completely in the military and be like come back like from the military like i don't know how to make a bed like how wasn't that part of your thing that you did like making sure the bed was like how do you guys come back and not know how to do anything like i don't know but yeah this is what you, this is what they do i so I'm just, I'm hip to the game now. I'm hip to the game now. So when I get a guy who all of a sudden doesn't know how to do anything, I know it's just part of the game. As humans, it's very much also that. <laughs> right? Man, man. I did not give up on men, but let me tell you, in my next relationship, so I, I'm either cooking or cleaning like I'm not doing both I'm not cooking and cleaning nope not doing both um, my next relationship is gonna have to be equal we're gonna have to be doing things equally or actually no I take that back let me just scratch all that I just want to be a princess so um, I don't want to do anything I think I have done so many things in my life that I'm done doing things I just want somebody to wait on me hand and foot and I want somebody to just massage me and rub me and um, I'm just, it's just gonna be all about me now all about me now right I want to be a princess and I just want somebody to just take care of me and give me arms. yeah <laughs> yes I was an expiring actress yeah thank you i hope so i hope so because i'm sick of this i'm sick of the society trying to tell women who they are based on what they wear i'm so sick of constantly being accused of sleeping with somebody or not sleeping with somebody or you know looking a certain way means that you're you know sleeping with the world i can't tell you know i've got a math degree i graduated magnum cum laude from usc with a computer science degree and when I got to the position that I wanted to be like, oh my gosh, finally IT director, everybody still thought I, I slept with people to get to the top, right? Still, still with all that, with all those accolades, all those degrees, I'm doing all this stuff in the day, like, yeah, anything anything and then it just it's like it just constantly um as a woman it's just very difficult that's what i'm saying it's just this is so hard it's so hard being a woman i know that it's probably hard being a man but um irregardless of who we are as women uh we need to just stop it we need to stop playing their games we need to um we need to stop just i'm you know I, i'm in the agreement that we need to listen we need did he cheat in the marriage too he's the only one that cheated in the marriage i never cheated in the marriage <laughs> mm. it's not hard being a man uh, i don't know I, I feel like if you're a man like i, I feel it was hard, probably hard i don't even know what i don't know what my dad likes to do my dad works like all the time and i feel like he just works for his family so i don't really know like any other interest that my dad likes to do besides protect and provide for his family so i don't know 
Um, it's hilarious. And lots of bots. All right, I'm gonna charge my phone. There's no three sides to a story. And anybody who says anything about three sides to a story is a liar. There is only one side to a story. And that's the truth. And that's a lie. Period. There's no other sides. Like, either you did something or you didn't do it. There is no three sides. No three sides. There's no two sides. No two sides. Okay? There's one side. That's it. There's truth and there's a lie. Truth and a lie. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's no three sides. 